Hey everyone, this is Rajendran here and uh, in today's video, we're going to look into how to use the log feature in Nami Broker, especially while you are doing algorithmic trading. What are the things you have to consider while uh, looking into the logging features? So let me quickly go to the window section and I'll go to the log and uh, I'll enable the log. So you can use the pin feature here. You can auto hide if in case if you don't want so it'll be at the bottom of the edge so if in case if you want to pin it you can click on the pin and it will be staying on your screen and uh, first thing first you have to right click and uh, i mean go to the trace tab first of all so there are three tabs over there edit runtime and trace so the trace tab is the most important tab especially if you are an algo trader right click and go to the trace output make sure that you are connecting both internal it's internal is checked and external is checked so that you are able to uh, listen to the trace function and now uh, in this uh, signal right i also included the uh, simple long shot uh, chart based trading uh, formula so i had included this i went to algo mojo i included this algo mojo chart trading version 2 uh, so which is basically a simple charting module which you can download from the algo mojo you can download from the algo mojo uh, let me pull up the algo mojo here so here is the algo mojo platform one of the test account so you can go to the tool section go to the ame broker module and you can download the algo mojo chart afl so after downloading this afl right so drag and drop onto your trading system and then configure the api key and api secret key so in my case i already configured it so right click i'll go to the parameters i already configured this now the moment I move the algo mode, by default algo mode is in disabled state. The same thing will be displayed on the dashboard as well. So now if you enable it, automatically what you'll be seeing is that the algo log window will log saying that the algo status is enabled. So if you are disabling it, it will notify that algo status is getting disabled and enable it. So make sure that algo is getting enabled. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to run this. I'm going to run. I'm, I'm, I'm in a crude oil charts now. I'm going to run the simulation here and I'm going to fire orders uh, in a simulation mode. Uh, I'm going to send directly to the uh, account. Uh, so here is AP key and AP secret key is set. I'm setting my order type as MAS crude oil 20 November future contract MCX and uh, market order is what I'm going to punch. So product code is again, I'm going to make it as MAS here. Uh, quantity is like one lot and I want to place orders in real time algo mode is in enable state right so anything if any fresh signal is happening right you'll be able to see that the signal is getting fired this is a real signal which got fired I mean really uh, the chart is running on and the order got fired any orders which is getting fired right it tracks the strategy which strategy is placing the order and uh, the log will also tells you what is the algo status is it enabled or it is long only or it is short only what symbol you are trying to trade what is the ami broker symbol and what is the trading symbol so this is the ami broker symbol the ami broker symbol is from here and the trading symbol is like which symbol you are trying to place orders to your uh, 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 i mean which 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 contract you're going to place orders and how many quantities you want to do here so i'm in a long shot mode so always the quantity one will be doubled here every time uh, there was a signal there is a buy signal also happened there and cover signal also happened there so automatically the signal will double remember one thing so if you are a long shot trader and long shot positional trader uh, in this case this first signal uh, you have to take it manually if you are using a, a non-smart feature right straight away uh, it, there is no intelligence is built in this code so it doesn't recognize how many open positions are there in the system so automatically position will double so if you are placing orders manually uh, i mean if you are taking uh, positional trading using algorithmically first trade is always a manual trade and later on you can give it to the system if it is always a long and short trading system so however in the upcoming session we will be discussing how to build intelligent uh, uh, strategies where it can recognize if there are no positions in the system it will take only one time of the quantity if already positions are there in order to reverse it will take double the quantity which we will be discussing in the next video 
So uh, what signal happened? Buy and cover signal simultaneously happened. That is the reason the quantity it took twice. So even though you entered one quantity, it took twice. Uh, however, as I said, if you are uh, very first time you are taking and you are using this module, always your first trade is always a manual trade entry. And then later on you can switch on the algo and later on you can allow the algo to trade on its own. So automatically uh, it also captures the 30 minute time frame. The time frame which I am using is at the 30 minute and uh, it also get you the uh, order response from the uh, broker server and it also gives you the chart ID. The chart ID here, so this is a charting ID in order to ensure that you are sending orders from the right charts and also what latest price. This is a price which is captured by the ME broker, not from the trading end. So trading execution, it might happen at a different price level. So whether the order has been executed or not, how I can know that? So you can go to the Algomojo platform. So from here, you go to the order log. So here you can see the fresh log, which is uh, fresh entries are happening from the anything from the order uh, log which is sent automatically i mean anything which is sent automatically from ami broker you will be able to check out from here anything from uh, uh, trading view or uh, any way of automation you are sending order log is the first place you have to look out for so you'll be able to see the timestamp here as well the timestamp at what time the order is received from the ami broker the order received is from Miami broker and the order is placed uh, at what time the order is submitted to the exchange. That is what you can uh, visualize from this order log. And in case if you want to check whether the order has been executed or not, you have to go and check from the order book.